I am about 95% certain that I recently played and beat Alpha Star on the ladder in StarCraft 2. A few days ago, I played a match of Zerg vs Terran on the ladder, and while the game was a little bit odd, I wasn't too suspicious. It wasn't until the day after, where someone called Alex reached out to me in-game, and he mentioned that he also played against the same account, and that he noticed a couple of very odd things. Now, initially, I was very skeptical, because, well, ever since I made the video where I explained that Alpha Star is now playing on the European ladder, basically every single loss that I've had, I've jokingly blamed on the fact that I was playing against the Google DeepMind computer. Now, here's the thing. That one replay alone is certainly not enough for me to be convinced. It wasn't until we started cross-referencing other accounts and other replays that were posted on Reddit that I realized that something was not quite right. So at this point, I'm about 95% certain that I played and beat Alpha Star on the ladder. So here's the full story. Enjoy. Did I just get the same map again? Another Terran player. I mean, are we gonna go for the build hat trick where I do the same build three times in a row? On the same map versus the same race? I don't know if it's, it's a thing, but... Build hat trick does have a, a nice ring to it. I'm going up against the barcode that must be Alpha Star. Yes, with that logic, everyone's Alpha Star. All right. So we'll try and go for the Roachling push once again. That is, if he's opening up 111, right? Like, we can't really know if he's doing so. But that's what we want to try and figure out here. Scouting around with my second Overlord just to try and see if we can find any expansion or any, any buildings going up on my side of the map. Gotta be careful. So hatch gas pool. Rallying the next three drones to the gas geyser. Now we'll send out a worker in a little bit to take that third base pretty early. Now this map, it is quite good though. I don't know if actually going for a quick third base on this map is that great. Because it is quite good for like Reaper all-ins and heavy Reaper focus play. So we'll see. I, I've lost to that build once when going three hatch opener, but I don't know. I haven't seen it too, too much. Haven't seen a, an SCV here either. There's a Reaper, okay. Correct timing. Got two sets of Zerklings, two Queens coming up as well. We want to see if there's a factory. There is a factory. Want to go up to 36 drones as fast as possible, which is when we will try and add on the Roach Warren. Haven't seen any Hellions yet. Add the drones back to gas. Okay, so 3.30. It's the correct amount of workers that we have right now as well. That's good. Gonna make another gas geyser. Couple of extra zerklings, not too many. Why is there no rally point here? Okay. Make a couple of extra overlords. Uh, I think I'm actually a little late with those. Yeah, I am a little late with those. Just a little bit. First couple of Hellions should be countered though.
Looks like we cleaned it up at home. What do you think? He's lifting his buildings? <gasps> what is this? Silver League? What is- oh my god, dude, I have not had someone waste my time that much in a very, very long time. So basically what he's doing is he's forcing me to go up to Mutalisk. <laughs> no way. Quick, spawning pool. He killed a queen, though. What a beast. Well, as long as he's not gonna land the base without us knowing, we should be okay. Ah. Someone just whispered me. He says, are you loco? Uh... Hello? I think you just beat Alpha Star? How so? You think you think my previous opponent was Alpha Star? Wait, two seconds, I sent you. I always get a little worried when anything gets sent to me by strangers I meet on the internet. He's like he links me like some sort of file sharing website. <laughs> <laughs> Just download this link real quick, okay? It's mediafire.com. Okay, no, he linked he linked this account. This barcode. Did I play against this guy? Hey, yeah, I did beat this guy yesterday. Dronezilla. I did play that. I won that game. Yeah, I know. I mean, I don't want to brag, Alex, but come on, man. What did you expect? You thought I would lose? Versus Google supercomputer? Now you mentioned, actually, this is a bit of a suspicious account. Five placement matches in one day, then not playing for a couple days, and then winning a stupid amount. You will see that it doesn't have any control groups? Wow. I'm gonna check it out. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying the Terran player that I faced off against yesterday? This one. It's this one right here, right? This was the game that I played yesterday where I did the same build three times in a row. I played the same map three games in a row, same matchup. It's this one right here. So wait, someone's saying that this might be Alpha Star? Hmm. So this is the vision of the supposed Alpha Star. It is odd that there's no hotkeys. I give you that. <laughs> but how do you figure out if someone's alpha star though? How would you absolutely know? Look what cast this game? I mean, I literally played it yesterday. I remember what happened. I went for a 36 drone all in. It was a Road Ravager one. I called it the build hat trick because I did the same build three times in a row on the same map against the same race. And I won the build hat trick. I did three times a Roge, Roge Ravage Zirkling only. It is very odd that there's no hot keying at all. I think the weirdest thing about this is the guy's win loss ratio, which is extremely high. And the fact that there's no control groups whatsoever up to this point. Like if you look at my vision here, you can see that I've got three hotkeys set up and that I'm happily spamming my buttons over and over again to make myself look more impressive than I actually am. So hopefully people use their Twitch Prime to subscribe to my live stream. But this guy not spamming at all, but also not using any hotkeys. Actually, hold up. Let me... Did he make anything during all of that? So I want to see once he sends out the Reaper. So now the Reaper is selected. He selects the barracks here at some point. After the Reaper moves out, he selects the barracks. 
Okay, okay. So this is now when he clicks the Reaper. Then he switches over to the barracks. How did he click the barracks here? This is the like this is the screen at which he clicks on the barracks. I mean, I can keep playing the X Files tune, but that's a little odd. How the heck do you click the barracks over here? It's at the top of the screen. Yeah, but how are you gonna click that? You have to be. <laughs> so once again, this is the vision right here, right? I'll, I'll 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 go back. I'll go back to two minutes and ten seconds, right? So he selects the Reaper, then he switches to the natural, and he clicks the barracks with this exact screen. You have to... <laughs> I couldn't even do it! You have to be... Right there. In order to click it. Right there. That is a little bit strange. Is it possible for someone to hide their hotkeys? Like, say I set my hotkeys up to, like, not 1 through 9, but I have them set up to, like, I don't know, page up, page down. Is it then still gonna show up in the hotkey settings? Because, look, 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 did you see that? He did produce a, an SCV there. Without switching screen. So, look while the Reaper is selected. Reaper is selected here. Here, Reaper selected. Look at the bottom selection of the screen. He uses a hotkey here. To make an SCV. But I'm pretty sure, right? If you go into like the hotkey setup and you like change one of the, I don't know, one of the control group hotkeys, say you change this one to like page up, right? Which is a really dumb idea. Don't do that. But say you were to do that, I'm pretty sure it would still show up over here as hotkey four. Because I know that's what some of the pro gamers do. Local I also have weird keybinds, they still show. Right. Yeah, you can put them on whatever keybind you want, but they should still show up. Now, there is a setting in the in-game settings that allows you to hide your control groups. That only shows on live gameplay, though. When you go into replays, because I know, for example, like Sue and Zest play without their hotkey shown, if I'm not mistaken. But if you look at their hotkey files, it will still, or rather on their replay files, it will still show their hotkeys. So I'm very confused that this guy does not have any hotkeys showing up. APM is not a very good way, though, to figure out if you're playing against Alpha Star. Um, this was played on a European server, and they did announce that it's only going to be playing on the European server at, like, different skill levels. But um, they did cap its APM and also the amount of actions it can do per second. So it kept it's, it's kept its, its APM and APS, I guess, like actions per second, to a minimum. Because apparently what they did back in the day is give it, like, a maximum amount of actions it could do in a minute. So say it could do like 400 actions in a minute at most, right? What it would sometimes apparently do is save up actions until like the second it needed it and then use like 300 actions in one second, which is not very realistic. Um, so apparently it's, it's limited in APS and then also an APM. So there's two things that make me a little suspicious here. Once again, they've announced that we won't know if we're playing against Alpha Star until they release the replay pack and the paper that they're writing about it. So we don't really know. But anyways, um, Nothing is really looking all too suspicious in the game, other than the lack of hotkeys. Which is odd. So that's that's really like in the game at least the most the most strange part here. The fact that it seems to use hotkeys while not having any hotkeys set up at the bottom section of the screen. I know of no way that you can hide that. He lifts all structures and puts them all over the map. I thought that this guy was BMing me and he was trying to like, you know, he's throwing a hissy fit, you know, like what people do in, in like Silver League and stuff. Where you have to like make mutas in order to deal with it so that's why I'm already that's already why I'm going up towards the lair here but that was an odd that was an odd game and he also this was also strange look at this okay I was starting to be a little skeptical and I didn't think it was right but this guy loaded up a freaking medevac with SCVs and then he killed a queen that was odd <laughs> I don't know what's going on so look there's eight SCVs in a plane and they go over here and I'm like, I'm just, you know, I thought he was trolling me. So I decided to make down like a, a, I think I'm making a spawning pool with this one. Yeah, I make a spawning pool just to be a jerk. But he actually ends up killing my queen with SCVs, which is weird, while floating buildings. I know this game is over. The weirdest part about this guy's win-loss ratio is that it's extremely high. And that the account is very new. So, all five placement matches were played five days ago. And then it's been winning left and right. That's really, really odd. This high of a win-loss ratio 
is pretty ridiculous. 45 and 5? So what we know is that it doesn't seem to use hotkeys while clearly using hotkeys, which is weird. It's got an insane win-loss ratio. It played a very heavy amount of games over the last few days, but then all of its placement matches like five days ago, all in one sitting, and we beat it, which obviously means that we are literally better than the Google supercomputer, right? <laughs> Wait, supposedly Alpha Star went 45 and five according to Beastie Cutie? What does that mean? This account did go 45 and five. It's probably gonna have around like the same amount of APM every game. It's, it's hovering at like late 100s, 200-ish. But honestly, that doesn't really tell you that much because my APM is also going to be pretty similar. Although I would be curious to see like a longer game because we now know, okay, so this is a longer game and it's still actually hovering around 200. Most people, at least that's what I notice in myself, I've got like lower APM in shorter games and when games go longer because there's more to do, my APM goes up. This guy seems to be hovering around 200 APM. I saw this Reddit thread a couple of a uh, couple of hours ago. So someone claims he played against Alpha Star slash DeepMind. He says, "Hey guys, after reviewing the replay and looking at this profile, I'm pretty sure I encountered Alpha Star on the ladder. First, its play looks pretty normal. Playing a totally standard Zerg build is as great Link Micro versus Reaper. Okay, what really stood out was that the borderline perfect Micro Ravager splitting in an arc to minimize siege tank damage even more suspiciously. This guy just played against Serral. This guy just played against Serral. But anyways, um, here's the link if you want to check out the replay." So this is once again a barcode player. Can I check out his Battle.net profile? Yes. Can I have a look at that? That is a... Wait, 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 wait. So this is the guy I played. He's 45 and 5. This guy has also played 50 games. Whoa, the plot thickens. This, this account also has played exactly 50 games. Um, okay, so someone says it's likely. I looked through GM Contender for similar accounts and I found these. New subscriber detected. So this is a Protals. I played against the Terran, right? Is that this account? If this guy is this account, the one that I just mentioned, I think it must be. Level 21 Terran. Uh, level 21 Terran. Total career games, 50, 50, yes. So wait, someone, okay, so someone just brought this up without like me specifically looking for it, right? Like this is literally the account that I played against yesterday. Whoa. The one replay I found with Protos also had zero control groups used and they're both also new accounts that played game, 50 games and then stopped. No way. No way! In addition, all three accounts exhibit the same pattern where the five placement matches were played four days ago, followed by 45 additional games in the past two days. They also appear to have the same map vetoes, preferring to only play on the older maps, Kairos Junction, Cyber Forest, King's Cove, and New Repugnancy. We also played on New Repugnancy. <laughs> Wait, no way! I think it's actually Alpha Stars to someone else. Here's another replay from the same profile. So I want to just check out real quick. So this is against the Zerk accused version of Alpha Star. Does it use hotkeys? <gasps> There's no hotkeys here at the bottom of the screen either. So you know what that means, right guys? I mean, Mana and TLO got defeated by Alpha Star. I ended up beating Alpha Star, supposedly, maybe. That means I'm literally better than pro gamers. <laughs> Okay, no, that's not what it means, but... Subscriber detected. So someone responds to this replay that we just checked out. 100% either a hacker or alpha star selects unhotkeyed larva without looking at it. That's what we noticed as well, right? The guy produced... Or the guy. Um, it, re it produced out of a command center that was not hotkeyed. Someone else responds 100% alpha star. I found some weird game, weird things in both games, but super clear execution. Against Terran, the overload pathing super weird, nobody does this. Attacking without scouting, weird second gas timing. Now there is obviously this thing called confirmation bias, where we're looking for evidence for results we've already found, right? And usually when you're looking for said evidence, it's very easy to overlook other New things. Subscriber um, detected. I'm very happy to be disproven, right? If you think I'm not right, feel free to let me know. 
even after like right now, just let me know on like Twitter or something, because I was very skeptical. But it might actually be the case. So someone else is going against the grain. He says, yeah, like the other commenter said, I think this is just game time lettering on EU. If you get the opportunity to play against it again, open with two clock benches and see if Alpha Star is able to defend its fourth base against them. So that could be, but it's three accounts. Terran Protos and Zerk, right? Three different accounts that played 45 games New subscriber detected. over the course of two days. So you'd have to play 150 games in like two, that's a lot of games. And you'd have to win 95% against opponents that are pretty New good at the game. Detected. I don't think that's, I don't think that's game time. That doesn't make any sense. So, so here's what we got, here's what we got. There's a couple of things that really stood out to me. Um, first off, it's playing one of the older maps, which is not that crazy, but it makes more sense, right? Secondly, we're going up against an account that did all of its placement matches the same day as another account that's playing Terran and another account that's playing, or rather another account playing Zerk and another account that's playing Protoss. Then they all played 45 games exactly over the last two days on all three accounts, right? And they all have a very high win rate. So that's that's outside of the game that kind of surprises me a little. That's a little bit strange, right? Playing this many games is not that crazy. But, you know, the other option would be that it's like a human pretending to be Alpha Star. But then I don't think that would play 45 games on three accounts over the course of two days. That's insane. Like that that's like 150 games in, in two days. That's way too many games. I'm actually curious, we might be able to check the one account right here played its last game 20 hours ago. This account was also playing 20 hours ago. So it certainly is not a pro gamer pretending, like if, if both of the accounts that I looked at right here were both playing 20 hours ago, it's not gonna be a pro gamer just trying to be cheeky and you know, just pretending to be Alpha Star, right? So I don't think that means that it's a human. Or at the very least, it's not going to be a cheeky pro gamer pretending to be Alpha Star. <laughs> Loco, it could be three pro gamers conspiring together. Well, it could be, yeah. Uh... Anyways, so that's a little bit odd. That's a little bit odd that there's three barcode accounts all playing one of the three races, all doing their placement matches in the same day, and then all playing 45 games over the course of two days after that, right? That's weird. Secondly, in the games that I've checked out, there are no hotkeys. This Terran player is not using any hotkeys. That's weird. That's very weird. And then the last thing right here that I also think is strange is when that Reaper comes out, when it moves across the map, right? This is the one thing that really stands out to me because this is so strange. So it goes to the Reaper right now, and then it goes back home, and it selects here in just a split second the barracks. How did it select that barracks? Cue it again. And then lastly in this game as well, which I found very odd, is after I end up rushing it. So Dronezilla is my account. After I end up uh, rushing it. And I, I get a bunch of damage done with the Roaches and Ravagers and Zerklings. The guy goes for a lift on all of the structures. And then drops me with SCVs. So here's my push. It wasn't expecting that one. It also went Siege Tanks, which is a little bit strange here. It's a little bit early for Siege Tanks. But then it does like... Lifting, or it lifts up all of its structures and it's it's microing an SCV detected. drop. That's so weird. I think I may have actually played Alpha Star. I, I don't see, I don't see how someone can bring up the exact same account as being suspicious as the one that I was advertising right be before this one without me knowing that this would be here. Like, that's weird. Now, we won't actually be able to find out exactly whether or not this is Alpha Star until Google releases their research paper, which supposedly goes up after they have finished their research. We don't really know when that's gonna be. Uh, my expectation would probably be like around BlizzCon, so end of the year, probably November. Uh, it makes the most sense to give an update at that point again, because 
The last time we heard about it was very recently, and then the time before that was January. So I think November makes a lot of sense. Um, so we won't really know until then, I would imagine. Maybe they give an update sooner than that, I don't know. But that's that's pretty fantastic. That's that's pretty awesome. Why would wait, why would Alpha Star be a barcode? Because there's so many barcodes. It doesn't make that much. It's not that crazy. If you're playing at 5.5-ish K MMR and you're not playing hotkeys, just imagine how good you would be if you played with hotkeys. That's ins that's like that's absurd. This is also a strange move, right? Like hold up. Like this is weird. So, it lifts up the two command centers here, and then it's microing them individually, and then it's sending them back towards that corner. Did you see that? That was the two command centers being microed individually. If you're really that kind of guy, right? If you're the kind of guy that lifts up his structures at the end of a game where you lose, are you really gonna, like... <laughs> are you really gonna micro your command centers and send them to individual places and then reroute them a couple times because you're indecisive? That's weird.